Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for x. We're given three to the power of the cube root of x plus three equals one to the power of the square root of negative two x plus x. This is day nine of our algebraic February calendar. For the month of February, we're gonna solve 28 algebraic problems. Looks like there's some pretty cool ones on here. And if you wanna try this one, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So first thing I'm noticing is one to any finite power is gonna be just one. So we can just write this like this, but we do have a domain restriction. We can't have a negative number inside of this square root. So we need negative two X to be greater than or equal to zero. This is gonna be our domain restriction. Let's solve for X. We can divide both sides by negative two. On the left-hand side, we have X, and then the sign is gonna change directions, and zero divided by negative two is zero. So whatever answer we get, we know it has to be less than or equal to zero, or the whole thing will be undefined. This looks important, let's put a box around it. Now for the next step, I think this is gonna be easiest if we can give these two the same base. Let's leave the left-hand side alone, and on the right-hand side, we can use these notes. Anything to the power of zero is one, so we can rewrite this one as n to the power of zero. And now we can change this n into anything we want, let's change it into three. So now both sides of the equation have a base of three. The only way this is true is if we set the exponents equal to each other. Or in other words, drop the base. Drop, drop the base. So we can drop the base and set the exponents equal to each other. Formally, what we're doing is we're taking the log base three of both sides, bringing the exponents to the front, and then both of these log base three of three are equal to one. So we have cube root of x plus three equals zero, or in other words, the two exponents were equal. And now from here, we can subtract three from both sides of the equation. That'll give us cube root of x equals negative three. And then to get the x all by itself, we can cube both sides. On the left-hand side, the cube root and the cube will cancel each other out, leaving us with x. And then on the right-hand side, negative three cubed is negative 27. And that is the answer to our question, x is equal to negative 27. Let's put a box around it. And we should check this against our domain restriction. The restriction is that x has to be less than or equal to zero. This is true, so we meet this restriction. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It wants us to evaluate 1 23rd of three to the power of two minus root five, whole thing to the power of two plus root five. This looks like a fun one. How exciting.